Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you some footage that I recently took from the oldest bakery in Bordeaux. In the footage ahead you're going to see how the bakery is laid out, you're going to see some of the beautiful products that come out of this bakery, the breakfast that we had and also you'll get to hear the owner talk about the magnificent old oven that they use. The purpose really is to transport you to France, particularly to Bordeaux, to this very bakery. I want you to smell the products that are coming out of the oven. I want you to feel like you're sitting at the table with us, like you're eating the baguette, you're trying the jam, you're sipping on that hot chocolate. I really want you to be transported with this video. So I hope you enjoy. So as you can see, the breakfast that we had on this particular Sunday was delicious, it was beautiful. It was 9 euros per person and included we got to choose a pastry of our choice that could either be a croissant or a pain au chocolat or chocolatine as we say in the south of France. Then you had some baguettes with some butter and strawberry jam, a fresh glass of orange juice and also a hot drink of your choice, all for 9 euros. So I think it's a nice experience, something to do if you're in Bordeaux because you can sit in the bakery, you can people watch, you have the amazing view of the, the old oven. Oh, pas de problème. <laughs> Là, on met le bois, ça, on l'enlève, oui. la flamme sort, on chauffe le four. Dès que la flamme est belle, on pose le gueulard dessus, là, c'est troué. Et avec ça, on peut diriger la flamme pour que le, le savoir, c'est que vous voulez la, la meilleure chaleur. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Une fois que c'est tout ça est fait, on ferme le four, on ferme le cheminier et le four est prêt. Combien de temps ça vient à chauffer La première, il faut compter euh, entre l'allumage et le four qui s'éteint, il faut compter une petite heure et demie, quoi, à peu près. So there you have just heard the owner of this boulangerie in Bordeaux talk about the oven. So some fun facts that I learned and you can too if you go at a quiet time and if he's around just ask him to show you and he'll be happy to do so. Things that I learned were that this oven is over 250 years old. There are only two ovens of this kind that still function and work in Bordeaux today. And we also learned that the oven has to stay hot at all times. It cannot be turned off, it can't go cold, it has to stay quite consistent at the same level and this is to ensure that it's remaining effective and producing the best quality products. So I found that really interesting even when most of the team are on vacation, the owner who lives in Bordeaux needs to go in every day to maintain the oven. It's a really particular thing and it's evident in the products, you know. They taste very different, very rustic and this bread in my eyes is really distinguished. It's on another level I think compared to some of the other boulangeries around our area, although bread overall is very very good in France. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Merci. 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 So I hope you've enjoyed this footage. Coming from Australia, bread or pastries in general, it's not really a big thing over there. And if you want to go and get some bread, you can, but it's not going to be the greatest bread in the world, right? And I can speak for my family and for a lot of people that I know, we don't really have bread every single day. But I've certainly changed that habit being in France. I think the bread here is the best in the world, as are some of the pastries. Of course, France is known for this. And it's been really nice to adapt to and enjoy the beautiful products that come out of French boulangeries and bakeries. Let me know in the comments if you're from Bordeaux, if you have been to this boulangerie and if you have plans to come to Bordeaux in the near future. So thank you for watching. Sticking with the French theme next week we're going to be covering what things you can do when you go to the city of Toulouse which is a beautiful southern French city as well. So have a nice week and I will see you next weekend. Bye!